is Sydney, and today my speech is on free to parent baby. So, how many of you guys know any free to parent babies? Oh, there we go. Confused face, no hands raised. So, I'm, by the end of this speech, hopefully going to tell you what a free to parent baby is and how they're made. Like, it's not made through regular reproduction, so I'm going to try to go through that process using that diagram. So, first off, how are free to parent babies made and why did this process like come about? Well, three parent babies are made through a process called cytoplasmic transfer. And the reason why it was made is for women who weren't able to have children and were struggling to conceive. A lot of families struggle to have kids and they want to, and so they go to in vitro fertilization, or they use a donor egg or donor sperm. And so that would give that child only one biological parent's DNA. Well, through cytoplasmic transfer, it gives the child both biological parent's DNA but plus the DNA of a donor. And so why is the donor so important in all of this? Usually the mother who um, often like times whenever women are struggling to conceive or are infertile, they have mitochondrial diseases, which allow, doesn't allow them to produce enough energy to keep a baby inside of them. So the baby doesn't get enough energy and uh, like sugar and glucose to survive and like grow. And that's what causes the miscarriage and that can be passed down to the child. Well, the donor comes into play and the donor gives the child, the egg, different mitochondria so that way they don't stop growing in the womb and that way they can develop into a child and they won't have the disease whenever they get older. Um, the donor is probably one of the most important parts of the entire process of cytoplasmic transfer. But the best part of the entire thing is that through this process, the child doesn't just have the DNA of the donor and the father, or donor and the mother, but has the DNA of both their parents, plus extra DNA. So it's usually through these four, it's a four step process, and it starts off with the donor's egg. And the donor's egg will be enucleated, so they take out the DNA of the mom, which is the chromosomal DNA, which makes you who you are, and then they'll replace it with the nucleus of the mom. And so that way the child will have the DNA of the mother and then they will through in vitro fertilization will um, fertilize it and that way the child will end up with 46 chromosomes which is DNA from both parents so that child would be like both of their parents and the DNA that they get from the donor won't make them who they are it just helps them stay alive and then after that process whenever the zygote is formed it'll be implanted in the mom's uterus and then the mom can still have a child like through the normal birthing process um, I think this process is extremely beautiful and I think it's really awesome because it helps women have children and helps those families who want to have kids have kids. Um, I think the most important thing about this entire thing is that it helps people bring life. One of my favorite quotes about um, cytoplasmic transfer is that through it, um, 50 children in the U.S. have been born and they might not have been born if it wasn't for this process. And one girl named Alana Sirenen from um, BBC, according to BBC News, she's the first person um, with three types of DNA to live in the US. She said, a lot of people say I have facial features like my mom, my eyes look like my dad. I have some traits from them and my personality is the same too. But I also have DNA from a third lady and I wouldn't consider a third parent. I just have some of her mitochondria. And I think that's extremely awesome and just really cool. And one of the like, most amazing things according to the FDA is that majority of families would choose cytoplasmic transfer over regular um, like donor process where the egg is from a mom like a different woman or the sperm is from a different man so that way the child would have DNA of both parents and that's usually chosen over any of the other donor processes in order to have children um, and the UK the UK kind of clinical research database um, says that this type of process was specifically generated so that way the, this disease, which is mitochondrial diseases, don't pass down to the child because they're not curable. They can't be treated, they can't be cured. And so they'd have it for the rest of their life and it'd affect them for the rest of their life. And through this process, those kids won't have to suffer through that and experience not being able to have kids whenever they're an adult or going through this feeling of not having enough energy and not being able to go through their day. And so all in all, I just think this process is just really amazing. 